Hey, I'm Al. I work at Coda, and this is a walkthrough of Product School's ROI calculator template in Coda. If you want to use this template for yourself, simply click on this Use This ROI Calculator Template button, and it will copy the Coda template to your workspace so that all the changes you make can be saved. Uh, you can go on and read the instructions on how to use this template, but essentially this template allows you to figure out which product features or projects to prioritize using a simple voting system in Coda. So let's get started right away. Um, after you copy this doc, you can actually delete all this all this text right here and focus specifically on the ROI, ROI calculator portion of the template. The first step is just to add some initiatives. This could be projects, could be features, could be whatever. And you can simply click on add initiative and start typing, typing new initiative here. And you'll see that your face will pop up in the column here. If you want to remove all the dummy data, just click on clear initiatives and all these initiatives will be deleted. Now here's where things get pretty fun. You can allocate how many votes everyone gets for the given features based on feasibility and importance. Let's say everyone only gets 15 votes. So everyone off on their own gets to vote on what they think about each of these initiatives. Let's maybe I think import functionality deserves three votes, security upgrades one vote, my new typing initiative gets two votes. And you'll notice that as you start clicking on your votes, the number of votes you have will start to decrease based on whatever is entered up here. So you first want to individually vote on whether or not you think this initiative product feature is feasible. Then you go on to over here and you could do the same thing and decide on how many votes you want to allocate based on whether or not the product feature or initiative is important. And you notice that once you maximize, hit the max number of votes, you won't be able to hit the buttons anymore. And everyone gets to vote independently. Once everyone's done voting, you bring the whole group back together and talk about the actual results. So this ROI score is a combination of everyone's votes on feasibility and importance. And based on these votes so far, item comments uh, is the most has the most ROI if we focus on this initiative based on everyone's votes and everyone's uh, initiatives. Of course, there's a lot of dummy data in this template, so you should clear this data out so that you can start afresh, but that's how you can use this template. And then down here, there's a nice little chart looking at the ROI score and the components of the ROI score, which is the average feasibility and the average importance. So we can see here for item comments, the average feasibility and average importance are pretty high and that makes the ROI score really high as well.